In this video, we are going to see properties of acid. What are all the characteristics of acid? Acids have sour taste. It turns blue litmus to red. Acid solution conduct electricity. They are electrolytes. As they dissolve in water, it dissociates to ion. The movement of ion to oppositely charged rods carries are responsible for electric current. So, they are electrolytes. So, these are all the characteristics of acid. General properties or characteristics of acid. Chemical property, the first property. Acids react with metals to form hydrogen gas. When acid reacts with any metal, the respective metallic salt and it releases hydrogen. For example, if it reacts with zinc metal, sulfuric acid reacts with zinc metal, it forms zinc sulfate salt and it releases hydrogen. If it reacts with hydrochloric acid, it will form zinc chloride and it will release hydrogen. So, generally acids reacts with any metal and it forms the respective salt and it releases hydrogen. Now, this the property of acid reacting with the metal, how it is influences in day to day life. We are not supposed to keep any food item which is containing acid in metal container. For example, lemon juice, curd, vinegar which contains acid not supposed to be kept in metallic containers because the acid reacts in this substances, food substances reacts with the metallic container and it may form the poisonous metallic compounds. It is hazardous to our health. So, the food items which contains acid not supposed to be kept in metallic container. For example, lemon juice, curd, vinegar, orange juice not supposed to be in metallic container. One is the second chemical property of acid. It is one of the tests to identify acid. Acids reacts with metal carbonates, carbonate salts, it releases carbon dioxide. When acid reacts with metal carbonate, sodium and chlorine reacts form sodium chloride. The acid releases carbon dioxide from carbonate and this hydrogen and oxygen remaining oxygen forming H2O. So, acid reacts with the carbonate salt, it releases carbon dioxide. How to test this, the removal of carbon dioxide is, when we pass this carbon dioxide to calcium hydroxide, slacked lime, the calcium hydroxide slacked lime, when the carbon dioxide reacts with this calcium hydroxide, so, carbon dioxide, one of the oxygen, calcium carbonate, the remaining H2O, H and OH reacts to form H2O. It forms calcium carbonate. It is explained, in this test tube, we are taking the calcium, this, sorry, in this test tube, we are taking sodium carbonate salt. Here, the sodium carbonate salt is taken in this test tube. Through this funnel, we are adding acid. The carbonate salt, the incoming acid reacts and it forms carbon dioxide gas. The evolving carbon dioxide gas is passed through calcium hydroxide. The calcium hydroxide initially, the plain solution, after the passing carbon dioxide, it forming white precipitate, the milkiness forms because of the formation of calcium carbonate. If it is the carbon dioxide is added in excess, again it turns to the clear solution. When carbon dioxide evolves, here the clear solution turns into white precipitate. When added in excess, it again turns into plain solution because of the formation of bicarbonate. So, again I am explaining 
when acid added with carbonate salt it evolves carbon dioxide evolves carbon dioxide and the formed carb how to identify the formation of carbon dioxide is when the carbon dioxide when passed through the milk slacked lime calcium hydroxide it changes into the clear solution changes into white precipitate clear solution changes into the white precipitate again when added in excess it again become the white precipitate again into clear solution because the calcium carbonate turns into calcium bicarbonate to the lime water when addition of carbon dioxide first it forms white precipitate first it dissolves when added in excess i said the again clear solution is formed the milkiness disappears why when it is on carbon dioxide added in excess why the milkiness disappears is in the calcium carbonate when excess of carbon dioxide is added the water molecule present in the carbon dioxide dissolves and it forms the calcium carbonate changes into calcium hydrogen carbonate calcium bicarbonate in aqua solution calcium hydrogen carbonate thereby the clear solution formed the concept of carbonate salts reaction with the acid this can be explained with the acidity of stomach and when we eat the ex oil food the stomach we feel the acidity in the stomach due to the excess of hcl stomach of flu in the st stomach fluid the secretion of excess of hcl in stomach fluid that can be corrected by neutralized by by the addition of packing soda the salts like gelisil digin and eno when we add the packing powder sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate in that substances taken taken by the person what it helps is that carbonate salt reacts with the excess of hcl present in the stomach and it is neutralized thereby we felt relieved by the taken by taking those substance so be, how because is the carbonate salt reacts with the acid and it releases the carbon dioxide thereby we felt free next one is naturally limestone marble chalk egg shells containing calcium carbonate how to test that is when we add hydrochloric acid to that it releases carbon dioxide and it forms calcium oxide so when we add calcium carbonate plus hcl calcium to the calcium carbonate salt if you add hcl it will form the carbon dioxide will be relieved and it forms calcium oxide so these are all the substance limestone marble chalk egg shells containing this calcium carbonate to that if acid added it will relieve the carbon dioxide and it forms calcium oxide carbon dioxide gas does not support combustion how to identify the carbon dioxide is if we burn if we burn on candle if carbon if you close that can, candle because of the absence of oxygen heat here shuts down otherwise we can say that the carbon dioxide gas not support for combustion property is acids reacts with the bases to form salt and water base sodium hydroxide acid hydrochloric acid reacts forming sodium chloride plus h2o the reaction of acid with the base called sodium chloride and some water is called a neutralization reaction this principle is helpful in finding out the strength of acid base we called a titration volumetric analysis we have to take the acid in the burette and sodium hydroxide in the conical flask so equal volume of acid and base comparable normality helpful in identifying strength in the neutralization reaction helpful in finding out the strength of acid and base 
okay the change of color by using the indicator the change of color will show the strength of acid and base the neutralization reaction so sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid reacts forming salt and water called a neutralization the neutralization concept is used in helpful in finding out the strength of acid and base in titration process the next chemical property is acids reacts with metal oxide form salt and water here the metal oxide copper oxide when it reacts with hydrochloric acid black color copper oxide changes to cupric cupric oxide cupric chloride bluish green color cupric chloride is formed the acid also react with metal hydroxides like that of metal oxide it forms metal hydroxide also forms it forms salt and water so acids reacts with metal oxide and metal hydroxide it form salt and water it's have corrosive in nature mineral acid strong acid cause severe burns on the skin if it falls on the skin even if it falls on the cloth wood metal structures and stone work it will erode those substance or eat up those material so mineral acid is said to be corrosive in nature it form black spots in skin and other material so because of this property acids never to be stored up in metal container it will erode that metal container foodstuffs or acids foodstuff containing acids not supposed to be stored in metal container because of that corrosive nature strong bases such as sodium hydroxide also very corrosive attack and destroy our skin so strong acids and strong bases are much corrosive in nature it is destroy the skin and other framework or stone work